King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold, 90 feet high. All were commanded to fall down and worship, and all did as commanded, except for three. Live forever! A moment of your precious time. As your dutiful servants, we know the law, that when the horn sounds, we all bow down. And worship your image! But these Jews, whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, pay no attention to you, O king. None. They neither worship your gods or serve the image of gold you have created. Nothing. Is this true? You refuse to worship my statue? O oh, king, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. Really? Then you shall be thrown into the furnace, and no god will save you from my hand. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, our god will defend us from it. And if he does not, we want you to know, O oh, king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the statue of... Enough! You dare to defy me? Let the furnace be heated sevenfold. Bind them and cast them into the fire. Certainly, O oh King. But now I see four. And the fourth... The fourth... looks like an angel of God. The fire has not harmed your bodies. Not a hair is singed. Your robes... There's not even the smell of the fire on you. Praise be to your God, who sent his angel to rescue his servant. You trusted in him. You defied my commands. You were willing to give up your lives rather than serve any but your own God. Therefore, I decree, any who speaks ill of the god of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego will be cut into little pieces and his house turned to rubble. For no other god can save in this way. <laughs> 